I just found it hilarious, like you said, that CNN have to ke- have to keep mentioning that they're a serious news network I know. and they're trying to take down Tucker. Just glorious. To yes, see. yes. Methinks they doth protest too much, uh, as as the quote goes. Now, look, Rukshan, um, you've been speaking a lot about this lately. The mainstream media is just absolutely seething that Tucker Carlson has interviewed Vladimir Putin. I mean, there have even been calls to have him sanctioned or tried for treason. Why do you think they are so upset? Yeah, I I wasn't surprised about the mainstream media's reaction. I was kind of expecting some of his former colleagues to have a bit of a sook and a cry, and it's been very entertaining (laughs) to see that, right? A lot of us have enjoyed, like, these type of comments from these CNN journalists, and particularly from MSNBC. Mm. But having politicians and members of the European Union, for instance, talking about sanctions, calls to arrest Tucker Carlson's, calls to travel bans, uh, calls for charges of treason when he returns to the U.S., I think that kind of raises a level bit of the insanity that we're seeing here because at the end of the day, Tucker Carlson is just doing what journalists should be doing, which is providing (laughs) journalism by interviewing people. And this is a a tradition that goes back for a very long time. And many of these networks themselves have interviewed certain world leaders that we might find problematic. So the insistence here that Tucker Carlson is somehow doing something so damaging to the national interests of the US or to Europe and The insistence also, which is even crazier, that this interview with Putin could change the course of the war. Um, You know, they're giving Tucker a lot of uh, (laughs) credit. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Like, I I can't quite put into words just the the seething and the the butthurt sookiness I'm seeing. These words I'm using sounds childish, but it's the only way to describe what I'm witnessing from these mainstream outlets and sadly also from world leaders that should know better. Yeah, it is It is really quite extraordinary. And I think it just shows how effective Tucker Carlson is just generally that they are this upset. Because I reckon they all probably thought he was going to just disappear into the sunset after he was fired from Fox News. Um, but no, they underestimated the sheer popularity of Tucker Carlson. And now he's sort of, you know, seems he's doing better than ever. And look, the thing about mainstream media and the Russia-Ukraine conflict is that the mainstream media tends to go perpetually easy on Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Now, look, to be clear, because I know there are some lefty journalists somewhere who would love to take this bit out of context, I am not a Putin fan. I do not support Vladimir Putin. I am a pacifist. I am anti-war, just so we get that out of the way. I am simply making a comment on another double standard in the mainstream media. So, Rukshan, why does Zelensky get these sort of softball interviews? Uh, Look, I think there's a lot of different answers to this, but one that I personally believe is the fact that Western leaders, whether it's the US, Australia, have to convince the public in their countries to give billions of dollars or millions of dollars of their own treasure Mm. to the Ukrainians, to Zelensky. So while you're doing that, to have the mainstream media apparatus propping this guy up, it, it makes sense, right? Why would they cast him in a negative light when you have to give him so much of your money and yet to convince people that instead of, you know, funding uh, things like helping the homeless or, uh, you know, securing the border in the US, we need to give billions of dollars to the Ukrainians. Of course, you can't paint that issue in a negative light. So I think they're very careful in terms of how they interview someone like Zelensky and cover the Ukrainian issue, which is very obvious and blatant to see for those of us who are paying attention. The general public might not pick up on it, which is why I think they're worried about independent media or journalists like Tucker Carlson bringing this alternative view from the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. And just like you, I don't support uh, Vladimir Putin or the Russian cause in, 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 in that 100% way that people are framing this. But it's important for us to see what these, you know, what the other side is saying. Like we have the facilities and the ability to see that. And if Putin wants to give an interview and so be it with Tucker, we get to see that and we can make that assessment ourselves and we can compare the two. We can compare what Putin says, we can compare what Zelensky says, we can compare what the US president says and come to our own opinion. I think they don't want people to be critical thinkers and Mm. look at these issues from that point of view. And again, it's all about controlling the narrative. It's all about, you know, keep propping up the Ukrainian um, war effort by funding them. That's why the EU is so angry about this, right? Mm. It's so obvious for those of us who are paying attention that this is what's happening right now. And that's why even the state's secretary of state, Anthony Blinken, was up on stage today talking about the Tucker interview. This is a US secretary (laughs) of state talking about a TV interview (laughs) saying that, you know, don't, whatever Putin says, remember that he's a liar. So, you know, these guys are freaking out and, 
it, it could be true. There could be it, could, it could be very valid, the things that they're mm. saying, but it doesn't matter in the Western world because we need to be able to view all these different points of views and we'll come up with our own assessment of what we think about what Putin says. 